So in the interviews, uh, sometimes they will be asking you, what is the difference between transfer and temporary assignment? What is the difference between transfer and temporary assignment? Transfer means we know that uh, we discussed transferring an employee from one BU to another BU or one department to another department or one location to another location within the legal employer. Within the legal employer means within the company. If you do it across the legal employers, then it's a global transfer. Then what is temporary assignment? It's very simple. Temporarily, you are going to transfer an employee from one BU to another BU or one department to another department or one location to another location within the legal employer. Same thing, we have global temporary assignment. It means temporarily you are going to send an employee for two months or three months or one year from this legal employer to another legal employer. Another legal employer. Let's say your organization is sending from India to US for three months. That three months, this employee will be under the payroll of uh, the second uh, company, which is located in US. And after three months, once the assignment is completed, they are going to come back. They are going to come back over here. It is. Okay. So in that scenario, we will be using the temporary assignment. So transfer means uh, it's not it's not going to be back, but temporary. In the name itself, we have temporary. Temporarily, we are going to transfer an employee for three months or six months. Okay, we are going to set for this purpose. Okay, let's see uh, how we can do that. If we have an employee already, let's go for my client groups. Person management. Let's say we have an employee called so temporarily we want to transfer this employee from one department to another department for three months or so. After that, again we have to end that temporary assignment. Same way how we will do the transfers. The same way we'll be doing it from here. Go for edit and update. But this employee, we already terminated it since. Uh, end date of this assignment is this. Still is active. Maybe this is 30th November 22. Not a problem. So if you want to go for add assignment can be done from here. So from today effective, we can find here end assignment. Add assignment we will find here. We are not getting add assignment here. This is for assignment change. Global temporary. Okay. Assignment option is not there. Add temporary assignment. Yes, temporary assignment. Select this temporary assignment. So what is the difference between temporary assignment and transfer? Transfer means it is permanent. We are transferring employee. But temporary assignment means there will be a duration. Three months, one month, six months or one year. And he is going to come back. After the duration is done, you are going to end that particular assignment and employee is going to come back. So manager has requested temporarily send this employee. Okay, this, as I said, this employee is already having some feature dated uh, records. So we cannot perform the transaction against this. No problem, let's uh, take another employee because this assignment will be ended here. 1st December onwards, there might be another assignment. Okay. 
let's go back to person minus or we can hire employees Chandra, uh, what is that here? I think it's not error. It has shown some uh, warning message related for positions. Okay, While okay. creating this position, we might have specified some controlling. Maybe 10 records, 10 members allowed or something like Okay, okay. Yesterday it is shown to me. So that one layer. Yeah. Related for position. We have discussed about position types, right? Uh, share, yeah, yeah. pool, that related warning messages. Okay. Now we have hired an employee successfully. Uh, let me go for search this employee here. I would like to go for transfer this employee temporarily from one location to another location. Edit, update from December 1st. Action, temporary assignment. You can go for extend the temporary assignment. Temporary assignment. Manager has requested here. Press OK. In the current assignment it will be suspended okay because the employee is going to come back after some day now we can find here the uh, temporary assignment here temporary assignment we are going to make it from 1st december 2022 due to manager request here and now we are going to do it within the same bu The business unit is same. So when you are going to end this particular assignment? So let's say one month, 31st will be the last date. 
of this assignment. Yeah, the position has a future incumbent because of which it does not have an, any open headcount. So it seems uh, FTE is already we have defined full time equivalent while creating this position. It's showing that does not have the uh, current incumbent. It's not a problem. It will work here. And I'm just changing the location. I'm changing the location for Dallas. This is for uh, one month, temporary assignment. After one month, again, it's going to be ended. So if at all we want to change the salary for that one month also, we can change. Can have different roles also here, go for submit. This is temporary assignment we have completed. Let me search this employee and click close. Current one assignment, but if we search on December 2, or December 1st onwards, the current assignment will be suspended. He will be active here. He will be active. So we want to go for end this assignment after one month. So what we will do is same. Edit update. Uh, when you would like to go for end this on December 31st. Whenever we want to go for end assignment here. End temporary assignment. Choose this. And temporary assignment. If it is transfer, there is no question of uh, you know uh, ending uh, ending that because that is fixed permanent. That is permanent. This is transfer. So after one month, employee is going to again come back. Employee is going to come back. The temporary assignment will be ended. The suspended assignment will be reactivated, and their status changed to active. Do you want to continue? So again, employee is going to come back to the normal position. It's a normal identification, like normal assignment status, whatever earlier was there, employee come back to that. Yes, we wanted to do this from 1st January 23. So it will work. Now if we search for an employee, and 23rd January. Again, employee will be active here. See, in Wipro New York location, again, employee will be active. In Dallas, it will be terminated. It will be terminated. Okay. So this is when the organization wants to send an employee for a particular period, then we will be using this temporary assignment. Once that period is done, then employee is going to come back and active again in the previous assignment options. If it is transfer, there is no question of ending. Again, if at all we want to get him, get him back, again transfer should happen. Right? This is temporary assignment. There will be a duration for this. For transfer, there is no duration. Okay. Thank you.